Hi Virgo, welcome back. I'll now lay out some more cards, eight cards to see how your relationship will be like with this person and any obstacles that you'll face together. Okay, the Seven of Cups, the Death card, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Fool, Judgment card, Four of Cups, and the Two of Wands. Okay, starting off with the Seven of Cups, sometimes I feel like the two of you will have the same vision, the same goals, family goals, wants in this relationship, but sometimes you won't know how to get there. I feel as though you'll have your vision, you'll have shared goals and visions for the future is what I'm seeing, and you both have... Um, or will have things in common that you both want to work towards. Dream careers, maybe set yourself up financially before you decide to have a family. Or maybe you'd like your children to grow up before you, um, you know, relocate or move in together or something like this. But this is sometimes can be seen as scattered energy. Sometimes I feel like you'll be in this relationship not knowing where the direction of this relationship is going. Um, and sometimes I feel as though you'll be analyzing this a lot here, Virgo. So I think it's important to remember things will flow in the direct in the direction that you allow it to. Sometimes there will be scattered energy, but ultimately I see the Seven of Cups as quite a positive card of having your vision and trying to attract, you know, trying to bring out the best parts of this person's personality or trying to attract the same shared goals that you have with this person with the Seven of Cups here. You do have the death card, so I feel like there's some major endings happening in this relationship. Now, for some, I always want to say that this relationship is, you might break up or have space or time apart and then actually reconcile and be, um, have a second go with this relationship because the death card brings major endings. Then you have possibly reconciliation happening with the Ten of Cups up here, followed by another chance at love with this person. So for some, I feel like the Death card coming into this reading could signify a few things. Um, most potently, I feel like there's an ending with this person that the two of you might rekindle in the future, maybe two weeks, two months, two years after you break things off, that there's a reconciliation. And the second time at this relationship, the second attempt at this relationship will actually bring you that happily ever after element here. Um, the death card can also symbolize um, transitions and the change of relationships happening, that there's major changes um, and shifts in the dynamic of your relationship, the type of relationship you're having here, uh, Virgo. Things will definitely change with the death card here. So this is an old way of life dying. Um, Again, I feel like you're putting your past behind you here with this relationship. For some, I feel like this relationship will be very similar to one you've had in the past. But for a lot of you, I feel like this can very well result in a long-term relationship that can absolutely bring engagements, happy family homes and children. So that's very exciting. Um, the death card isn't all bad, you know. It is Scorpio energy. It is mystery. It is devotion. It is, um, you know, having this connection here. So I think there's lots of transitions that will happen in this relationship, we could just, which could just be translated to the fact that there may be many milestones that you achieve with this person alongside you. Ten of Cups, this is a beautiful relationship. Look at this. For those that are thinking about children, there could be pregnancy, christenings, baptisms, children, twins, um, the blending of families if you have children of your own and as does your partner. This is a happy family unit. For those that are thinking about having families, this person could be the one that gets you pregnant or you become pregnant to them. Um, you know, for, for the males watching, I feel as though this person could be, uh, you know, the, part, the life partner you're after and just... That, that sort of lovely um, feminine or nurturing energy um, is coming through. Lots of emotion and looking to the rainbow in the sky. There's a lot of bliss and happiness. And there's definitely a wonderful life that lo could lie ahead of you with this person here, Virgo. So this is very, very auspicious. But it absolutely is of joining families, of buying property together, um, surrounding yourself with couples, double dating, um, it, it, it is also a notion of being accepted by one's family, one's friends. So if this is a relationship and someone's very important to you, I feel like you'll get on with their family or friends. There's very good judgment that will lie upon you. So I feel like you'll be embraced or welcomed into this person's world, into their lifestyle um, or into their family. So that's a very, very exciting. 
Moving on to the Ace of Cups, this can absolutely symbolize engagements, marriage, or religious spiritual ceremonies that may take place to commemorate a union. The Ace of Cups is the hand of God, and it is a spiritual connection here. It's also an outpour of emotion, a release of emotion. I feel as though you're releasing yourself from a lot of old things here, a lot of things from the past here, Virgo. A lot of firsts for you with this person. You know, the dove is sincerity, it's truthfulness. I think this is a relationship based on honesty. I also feel like there's an outpour of emotion. So anything that may be bothering you or maybe bothering them, it's definitely something that will be expressed. It's all about an outpour of emotion. And this person is supposed to be in your path and you'll definitely feel very blessed. This is feeling the feelings of blessed. You know, there's an abundant water. Your cup is overflowing. You couldn't be any more happier. This is a very nice energy with the Ace of Cups, but it could absolutely symbolize marriage proposals um, or commemorating a union of some kind here. So... The full card can indicate travel opportunities and movement with the two of you. Again, I think it's this this relationship will sometimes, I think it's because it's in the same column as the Seven of Cups, sometimes you won't always preempt the direction of this relationship. And I often think with the full card coming up, if this is how your relationship will be, sometimes it's going you're going to just have to accept what is. And the full is quite... Um, embraces a lot of energies. He embraces a lot of opportunities that come his way. Um, I guess he doesn't attach too much analytics or logic to it or logic or reason, which I guess you tend to do, Virgo. So sometimes you may find yourself out of your element here. And I think what the obstacle for you would be most prominently is that there's a lot of things that are going to be done differently in this relationship. And I just don't know how you're going to handle it, Virgo. It's not as if you have to change you know, I never encourage anyone to change unless it's for the better. But, you know, you are you in this body, in this life, with this personality, with these interests, with these um, desires, with these dreams. And no one can ever take that away from you, Virgo. But sometimes I feel like you're going to have to learn to be a little bit more like the fool. And maybe not so much listen to your inner judgment, but more so your passion, your desire. Your heart, you know, the fool is a nomad. He follows his heart, um, unaware of the consequences. And again, I wouldn't encourage change. I mean, unless it is for the better and unless it is a more healthier life or life way of thinking, I suppose. But sometimes I feel like the, the, the obstacles you're going to encounter with this person is that the both of you have to take chances and have to take risks and have to have faith. It's not logic and reason that's going to validate your actions, but faith. And I think that's probably the biggest obstacle you have here um, in front of your relationship. You know, it's about the judge, the judgment card is here. So judgment calls, um, forming a judgment, forming an opinion, weighing up the pros and cons. So, you know, the full card is here with the judgment card and they're two very distinct um, ways of thinking here. And I think with the judgment card, your judgment is going to change from this person. You're also going to receive judgment from them, whether good or bad. I think it's good. I think a lot of what this person will teach you, I think you're going to do away with. So I think it's leaving behind negativity. You know, the death card has the skeleton. It has a black flag. So sometimes we associate anything in the past that we've done, past habits, past toxic behavior, past toxic thoughts, past bouts of anxiety or depression. I think you're honestly leaving this behind and this person is going to act as a gateway to you, leaving behind this negativity. But the Judgment card is a very warm embrace. It is a card of embracing. It's a card of happy family homes. Um, it is a card of feeling welcome, feeling at home, um, being you know a good judge of character, um, making those important judgment calls as well. It is also karmic lessons that need to be learned with the Judgment card. This is the universe, the angels, God's spirit, energy that's giving you these lessons, and you're going to have to embrace them. You're going to have to face the music, so to speak. So again, it's it's going to be quite confronting here. I feel like with what this person is going to teach you or how you're going to come to realize how you're acting or what you're doing, you're going to be confronted with yourself, so to speak, because the Four of Cups is all about self-illumination. It's about, this is the tree of life, so this is the, the way you've known to be, Virgo. And suddenly, this hand of God comes up and offers you something you're not used to that can change your direction of life. So what I want to say is that this relationship if it doesn't turn out in marriage and children and that happily ever after sailing into the sunset growing old together, which, you know, 
till death do you part literally could be the case I feel as though with the four of cups this relationship is going to change your life in a really 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 big way especially to do with um, your perception your thinking your thought pattern judgment calls and the way you think about attracting things into your life um, this is the tree of life and this is life altering illumination coming with the four of cups and this is this had to happen because it's going to teach you something that you'll be able to take with you to the grave so to speak um, so you'll definitely be learning a lot about yourself and this other person here and also with the two of ones this is a card of journey exploration travel pursuing wonderlust in fact there's two travel cards here so some of you will be relocating to be with someone else this could eventuate into a long distance relationship for others with the death card in sort of in between these two travel cards, I feel like there's going to be periods where you're reconciled and, you know, you're in each other's company, whilst other times you don't know in the direction of this relationship because there's distance created between the two of you. There's an ending of, um, I guess, communicating with each other face to face because work or, or, or whatever it is, whatever the reasons, this person has to be separated by you geographically is going to change things for you. So for some, if this is going to eventuate into a long distance relationship, I do see challenges up ahead for you because you're going to question every time you're apart or there's an ending or a goodbye, you're going to be questioning this relationship and it's going to be quite cyclical um, is what I'm seeing. But look, the two of ones can indicate this long distance relationship, a bit of back and forth energy, um, communicating via you know the world, traveling the world, um, with the two of wands energy it's also establishing a base and establishing a place where you might meet up in the world as well for some of you let's have a look and see what they're wanting what are they wanting from you okay they want all their wishes to come true nine of cups the emperor king of pentacles and the king of swords okay they want the real deal here virgo they don't want you know that all that bs they don't want the drama they don't want the games nine of cups this is everything they've ever wished for. Um, they really hold love in high regard. And for this person, I think it's not career that's that's at the heart of what they want in, out of life. I think it's love, commitment, family. So I think you have a traditionalist in one sense. But this is what this person is wanting. They want someone that's going to tick every box for them. So yes, they have high expectations. They have high standards. But they're not accepting anything less. Look at this energy. Emperor, King of Pentacles, King of Swords. Physically, they want someone that can give them a lot of emotion, guidance, protection, and nurturing with the Emperor card here. They want someone to be able to mentor them. So they do appreciate gaining wisdom because I think they're very intellectual and they're also very curious. So they're interested to learn about themselves and how they come across with the Emperor energy, but they are needing someone to nurture them, whether they say it or not, um, with the Emperor energy here. But this is also fire, passion, and lust, and this is what they're wanting physically. Stability wise with the King of Pentacles, I feel like they're wanting to move in quickly. They're wanting to establish themselves with you quickly. Um, they're wanting to establish roots. Um, it's, it's a card of complacency. It's a card of stability, security and having consistency. So they want consistency in action, in words, in affection. It can't be half-heartedly done. And I feel that's where the challenge is going to lie because this person wants stability. But with the death card and the full new beginnings, death, new beginnings, reconciliation, questioning where your relationship is going, this is going to prove to be a challenge for some of you. But it is indulgences as well, um, indulgences with the five senses, so pleasure, food, eating, seeing, you know, there's a lot. Um, this person is definitely wanting um, an adventurous relationship is what I'm seeing here, where you spend a lot of time together doing different things. Um, King of Swords, communication is very, very important to them. I don't think there'll be any struggle with communication. I think distance might separate you for a time. But King of Swords, they're coming up very expressive, also quite analytical and also coming up upright. There's no hesitations here with the page or the knight. Um, in terms of what they're wanting from you, they just want you to be very direct and to tell them like it is. Don't sugarcoat anything. They won't appreciate that. They can handle the judgment. They're ready to learn, as are you. The King of Swords here, they want those important conversations and anything that needs to be addressed, anything that you're feeling or that you're wanting to express, Virgo, you need to express to them because they're wanting upright and honest communication. Um, whether it's difficult to address or difficult to articulate, they want it and they want it directly. They're, it's very important to have that mental engagement and stimulation and also those commonalities uh, for this person. 
But look, I will leave it at that, Virgo. Beautiful reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please feel free to contact me if you'd like a private reading.